Can people really see the future, receive messages from across time and space? For centuries, seers and prophets have come forward, offering dramatic visions of mankind's destiny. But what happens when the predictions turn deadly? Well, that's what we'll try and find out. Paris, France, 1555. Astrologer and physician Michel de Nostradamus publishes a volume of four-line poems called Quatrains. Readers at the time are confused by the author's use of multiple languages, word puzzles, and what was even then considered antiquated syntax. But perhaps even more baffling is the volume's title, Les Prophéties, The Prophecies. Nostradamus had become initially famous as a almanac writer. You've got to really understand that this is during the time of the printing revolution, and he was one of its first best-selling authors. Then he embarked on a history of the future, which would look at everything up to the year 3797 AD, nearly 1800 years from now, and beyond. The Prophecies was initially met with outright skepticism and derision. Many believed Nostradamus to be either a fraud or mentally ill, possibly both. Likely due to the fact that one of his verses scandalously foretold of a particularly gory death for Henry II, the King of France. Nostradamus made a prediction about Henry II dying in a jousting accident. Quatrain 35 read that a young lion would face the old in traditional combat. He shall be pierced through a gilded cage, two wounds made one. The joust happened exactly as he foretold it. Both men had lions on their shields. Large shards went through the gilded visor of the king. One penetrated his forehead into his brain, the other in between his eye and socket, destroying his eye and he died of infection of the brain 10 days later, an agonizing death. After the king's death, Nostradamus's reputation as a seer of the future grew rapidly, which was, at the time, not necessarily a good thing. It is well known that Nostradamus concealed the nature of his prophecies, which at that time was very politically incorrect and could have gotten him in a lot of trouble. He would have come into great conflict with the church if he put himself on a pedestal and be like Noah or Moses or people like this. Despite the controversy, the prophecies eventually became one of the most widely read books in the world. It both astounded and terrified readers with its predictions about dreadful events to come. Is it possible Nostradamus received his prophetic visions because he was in touch with a higher power? It's an interesting theory and could help explain how Nostradamus was able to see and know things that would not happen for centuries, things he was trying to warn us about. <laughs>